Hi, I'm Professor Cormac McGuinness, I'm course director for Physical Sciences and the course director for the Physics degree in Physical Sciences. I'd like to introduce you a little bit to the Physics degree, Physics Moderatorship, as we call it in Trinity College Dublin, uh, which is the four-year degree that you would take through Physical Sciences and enter in the final two years into Physics Moderatorship. I suppose you do a physics degree, you take a physics degree if you're really interested in physics. So I would choose a physics degree because physics allows you to look at the world around you, digest it, understand it and make predictions about how and why things should behave in a certain way. Of the four moderatorships that the School of Physics participates in in Trinity College Dublin, those are physics and astrophysics, nanoscience, theoretical physics and physics, the moderatorship in physics is perhaps the most broad. Students have a broad range of options in their third and fourth year, uh, specifically, that can allow them to tailor their degree to their particular interests. The greatest range of choice modules in the third year and in the fourth year, so that you can direct your degree exactly how you want it to be. My name is Professor Igor Schwatz, and uh, I'm going to teach you in the third year. I teach the condensed matter physics course there, which is the fundamentals of material science. Um, for example, I teach atomic physics in third year. Um, that course would be seen as foundational, so you learn many things such as the physics of hydrogen, the physics of atoms, the physics of molecules. But then in final year, uh, I teach an optional module on quantum information and quantum optics where you can see the applications in atomic physics. For example, currently um, we are now living in a domain where quantum technologies are becom becoming increasingly important and atomic platforms such as optical lattices, trapped ions, um, etc. are uh, natural places for the processing of quantum information. It is the physics degree in which you have the greatest range of choice of modules in your third and fourth years. Apart from the core physics inclusive of quantum mechanics and condensed matter physics and electromagnetism and advanced quantum mechanics, among all of the other courses that you take in the third and fourth years, you have a the widest range of choice within the physics moderatorship or our physics degree. So when you come into first year, I'm one of the first lecturers that you'll meet because I teach the first year waves and optics course. But then when you get to fourth year, you'll meet me again and I teach a, an option course on uh, nonlinear optics and I also supervise a number of students who want to do their final year project in the area of uh, photonics. Now all our, our students learn how to program. They learn how to program in Python. And so they are well equipped to again go into the outside world, outside of college, and take up various uh, jobs, for example, having to do with data science, with the analysis of numerical data, but with also with, with computer modeling. And I will also teach you in the fourth year, the senior soft year, the uh, science of energy module. Research laboratory projects will include things such as quantum optics, uh, magnetic behavior of materials, uh, looking at uh, generating uh, solar power from new materials in the most efficient way possible, as well as developing new materials uh, through complex uh, molecular beam epitaxy methods. So to my mind, one of the key benefits of the physics moderatorship is the final year capstone project. In that extended project, you get to work alongside real researchers doing real research embedded in their research groups. And whether you end up wanting to go into research or not, you get a really clear idea about what it really means to be a practicing everyday physicist. The research problem is always an open, an open problem where your supervisor doesn't know the answer either. So you have to dig deeper and you have to explore more all the skills that you have developed. And uh, behind me what you can see is some of our instruments we use for our research. This is uh, once you get into the final year projects and once you get into PhD programs, these are kind of instruments that we use. This is for example the machine that's used for water splitting, so generation of hydrogen from water. One of the attractions of the moderatorship in physics specifically is the option to take a final year research project which takes up half the final year in computational physics. If you do your research project 
in a computational area, you undoubtedly will gain way more expertise in, in programming than you do if you just do short problems. Our computational physics students pick subjects from a broad range of, of areas in physics, in, from foams and granular media to magnetism and magnetic devices, computing, even computing using light or quantum computing, uh, energy materials, battery materials or solar cell materials. Overall, I mean, our computational physics students um, very often gain a, a broad range of skills that are applicable in more diverse areas beyond physics. Yeah, there are excellent opportunities for people who graduate with our degrees, um, with master's degrees, with PhDs and with bachelor's, bachelor's degrees. So, should you become a physics graduate, you would end up with a skill set of being highly literate, numerate, analytical, able to problem solve and able to work in a team. And that's widely applicable to nearly any industry, sector or business that's out there. Come and study physics with us. It's a great degree. It gives you a tremendous opportunity for your future career. You learn a lot, uh, fundamentals of physics and the applications of this fundamental knowledge to various uh, works of science and, uh, and economy. So I hope that you choose to come to physics and that you enjoy your time here.